Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one algebraic challenging equation for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing our substitution state away. As you can see, 1, 5, 9, 13, 17. So I will give substitution. The central value is 9. So I will write x plus 9 equal to t. Once x plus 9 is t, I will change x plus 1 will become t minus 8. Then I will write x plus 5, it would be t minus 4. Then I will write our x plus 13, then it would be t plus 4. And once I will be writing x plus 17, then I need to write t plus 8. Now I will frame one equation in t as we know x after substitution. I will write here t minus 8 whole cube. Then I need to write t minus 4 whole cube. Then it is central or middle term that is t cube. Then we are having x plus 13 which is t plus 4. So I will write t plus 4 whole cube. And x plus 17 I will put t plus 8 whole cube. And RHS is 10 power 3 which is 1000. Now I will club first and last, second and second last term. So I will write t minus 8 whole cube plus t plus 8 whole cube. This is our first combination or first curly bracket. Then central term t cube as it is, this one. Now second and second last term that is t minus 4 whole cube plus t plus 4 whole cube equal to 1000 or 10 cube. Now you can see a minus b whole cube plus a plus b whole cube written. t minus 4 whole cube plus t plus 4 whole cube written. So that means if we can derive one formula of a plus b whole cube plus a minus b whole cube. So we can simplify in one go by that formula. So let us consider that formula first. I can write here a plus b whole cube formula. It is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Once formula is having minus, so where it is going to impact? a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So wherever we are getting sign change, that term once we will add both the cubes addition or we will add both we will cancel these two terms. So this formula becomes once we are adding that means a plus b whole cube plus a minus b whole cube then we will write it is equal to 2a cube plus 6ab square directly. Now let us write our curly brackets. Let me write here first one. It was t minus 8 whole cube plus t plus 8 whole cube. So it will become in place of a it is t. So I will write 2t cube plus 6a. So let me write 6t. b is 8. So that is 64. Once we will take product. 64 times 6, 384. So 2t cube plus 384t is the first simplification of curly t minus 8 whole cube plus t plus 8 whole cube. Now let me write here t minus 4 whole cube plus t plus 4 whole cube value. So directly we will use this formula. In place of a I will write t. So it will become 2t cube plus 6 t 4 square so 16. Now this will give us 2t cube plus 96t. Let us put these values in our equation. Equation was let me write here t minus 8 whole cube plus t plus 8 whole cube plus t cube plus t minus 4 whole cube plus t plus 4 whole cube equal to 1000. 
Now let us put over here values which we have calculated already. This value was 2t cube. Let me write plus 384t. This was t cube. The last simplification we calculated 2t cube plus 96t and equal to 1000 it is. How many t cubes? 5. So I will rewrite 5 t cube 384 plus 96. So it would be 480t equal to 1000. Equation is divisible by 5. So I can write here t cube plus 96t equal to 200. Now I will consider all the term to one side t cube minus 96t minus 200 equal to 0. So it is plus sign. Now let us find out rational root theorem you can apply. Then we will use synthetic division also if you can identify the base solution. So using rational root you can find out eligible factors. I will straight away putting t equal to 2. 1, 2 you can put over there 4, 6 and so on t equal to 2. See it will satisfy. So 2 cube is 8 plus 2 times 96. So 192. It is satisfying the equation. So we can conclude t is equal to 2 is our base solution for this cubic equation. Now we will use synthetic division. We can find out the remaining two real solutions if it is there. So let me write this cubic equation t cube plus 96t minus 200 equal to 0. t cube plus 96t minus 200 equal to 0. t equal to 2 is our base solution. Remember what was t? t was substitution x plus 9. Okay. Now I will use all the coefficients for SDM. The coefficient of t cube is 1. Coefficient of t square is nowhere. So 0. Coefficient of t is 96 and constant coefficient is minus 200. Let me pull one line over there. 1 would be as it is. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 you will write here. 2 times 2 is 4. 100 you will write here. 2 times 100 is 200. So here you will write 0. These are coefficients for quadratic equation. So you will write t square plus 2t plus 100 equal to 0. Let us only find out the discriminant of this quadratic equation, whether solutions are real or not. So b delta is equal to b square minus 4ac you will write. b square is 2 square minus 4 times 1 times c. You can consider minus 400. So it is minus 396 negative value it is. So complex solution, no need to find out values further. So you will reject this solution. You will write here rejected as solutions are complex valued. Okay. So which solution we will accept that is t equal to 2. Let us put back the value of our substitution. What was our substitution? x plus 9 equal to t. So I will write x plus 9 equal to 2 which we calculated t equal to 2. So x will become negative 7. 2 minus 9 is negative 7. Now let us verify this value. Let's put the value of x. x is equal to minus 7 verification. Once I will put over there. So let me write that equation once. x plus 1 whole cube because all the terms are needed actually x plus 5 whole cube x plus 9 whole cube x plus 13 whole cube x plus 17 whole cube let us check whether it is coming out 1000 or not so once i will put x equal to minus 7 so this value i will write minus 7 plus 1 minus 6 whole cube minus 7 plus 5 minus 2 whole cube minus 7 plus 9 2 whole cube 
minus 7 plus 13. What I need to write? 6 whole cube. And here if I will put minus 7, then I need to write 10 whole cube. Now you know that minus 1 with odd power, it will be minus. So minus will come out minus 6 cube, minus 2 cube, plus 2 cube, plus 6 cube, plus 10 cube is 1000 or leave it as 10 cube. Now you will cancel all those terms. Now what is left? That is 10 cube which is your RHS hence verify. So our final solution becomes x is equal to negative 7 is the only real solution for the given algebraic equation. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.